I love long-lasting nails, but I hate how acrylic nails are really damaging for my natural nails. I recently came across this thing called gel nail extensions, and I really want to give them a try. I've seen celebrities like Ariana Grande rock them all the time because they are super long-lasting and a lot less damaging on your nails. I'm going to be going to Paint Bucket today to give them a try and see if everything that gel nail extensions claim to be are actually true. It seems a little too good to actually work, so let's go find out. So soft gel extensions are made kind of from the same substance that you're used to getting if you get gel polish manicures, and they are full pre-made tips that go right onto the entire nail, and then when they soak off, they soak off just like gel polish. I am already excited. This looks so pretty. <laughs> The process begins like any typical manicure. When it was time to add the extensions, my technician started by buffing the inside of the extensions. With acrylics, your nail is usually what's buffed, so I could already see how this process would be a bit more gentle. To adhere the extension, a clear gel polish base is applied both to your nail and the inside of the extension. Like any gel manicure, gel extensions also cure with UV lights. Long-term UV exposure and its risks in manicures are still being studied, so if you're staying away from UVs, this may not be for you. However, I was happy to find out that this process is free from some ingredients typically found in acrylics that the FDA has warned people to avoid. They don't look dusty anymore, I'm telling you that. First of all, they're stunning, if I do say so myself, and they feel like a lot thinner than what I would get with just acrylic or SNS. Biggest curiosity is how long these will last, um, but I will keep you posted on that. So it is day three since I got my nails done, and I don't know if you can see it, but Right underneath this one, the gel extension bit is starting to peel off. Can you see that right here? So that is alarming and also kind of irritating. I hope it still lasts. I mean, at the edges, they are kind of like coming up, but it's not like SNS or any other kind of nail where like, once the edges start rising up, everything kind of like falls apart within a few days or a week. Now I'm just curious to see how they come off. See, my nail underneath is actually coming up and it's a good length right now. I want to take these jelly extensions off and be able to have still healthy nails underneath so that I can just go back to a gel polish or something and give my nail a little bit of a break. So quick little update. I just went into the shower and this fell off as I was showering. It is about three and a half weeks now. I'm actually just about to get these nails off today. So this couldn't have come at a better time. Um, considering that this has been on me for about three and a half weeks, I would say that my nail is still relatively healthy. I mean, you can still see the scaling and it kind of peeling off right here. Um, but the overall shape has retained and it doesn't feel like my nail is like brittle. Since soft gel extensions are thinner and more flexible than acrylics, the removal is supposed to be a lot easier on the nail.
After some filing, buffing, and a little cuticle oil, I could finally see how my nails held up. Okay, so it's been a day since I got my nails taken off, and as you can see, they are pretty healthy. I am very impressed. My nails are still pretty thick. They don't like bend or like feel like they're gonna break off at any given point. And overall, I want to say the experience was very great. I think I would do gel extensions again if I had the opportunity to. But with that being said, it is a pretty pricey procedure. When it comes to duration, the money was worth it. So yeah, let me know what you think. Have you done gel extensions before? Would you want to do gel extensions? Let us know.